Some homeless people in the downtown Sarasota area have caused some damages to businesses on 2nd Street, and the managers are ready for something to be done. SNN's Ben Bobick has that story. Surveillance footage, photos of damage done by the homeless to businesses on 2nd Street. Garbage was just everywhere, and then there was this big stain on the door, and to see human feces thrown on your door is not uh, a pleasant thing to come into to work on a Monday morning. I know this has been an issue for some business owners in the downtown area for quite some time. And we're seeing businesses closing their doors and moving away from downtown because of this issue. Businesses also claim that when police are present, there is no issue, but they also know they can't be there all the time. The police department has two police officers on foot in that area, as well as a zone officer that patrols in a car. So we're giving the area considerable uh, attention. Can we be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week? No, we cannot. Which brings about the looming question, what needs to be done to contain this problem? What's it going to take for some real progress to be made on the homeless issue in Sarasota? The opportunity to recruit more police officers to come into uh, Sarasota and work and be able to patrol that area. We need to have uh, you know, uh, some better options than what we currently have because it's, it's starting to hurt businesses here in town and, and a lot of them are, are moving. And that's the plan for the police department. I will be asking for additional police officers. Um, so that'll be my side of the equation. Of course, uh, the city commission and the city manager will have to determine whether or not my need is can be paid for. Only time will tell. Reporting in Sarasota, Ben Bobick, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And the police department also wants anyone who sees anything like this to certainly let them know.